The long-awaited, oh my god, I'm actually graduating mental breakdown has finally hit. Good morning everyone, hey it's Keegan, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a college week in my life, welcome to Monday. I've actually done quite a few things today. I went grocery shopping last weekend, or last Sunday, this Sunday? Yesterday was Easter, so Trader Joe's was closed, which for some reason I thought they'd be open on Easter But honestly, I have major respect for them for being closed on Easter So I went grocery shopping. I told myself today I can sleep in I don't have anything going on early in the morning I can sleep in if I want to and then my body just wouldn't let me sleep in so I was like great <laughs> So I went grocery shopping and then I walked on the treadmill and then I'm currently in the process of washing my bedding and my sheets I haven't done that. well, I know I've done that recently, but like I was meaning to do it yesterday But I didn't have time to that is in the wash and I have such a busy week this week. I'm not thrilled So I have an exam tomorrow for my hardest class. It's my capstone class It is the class that makes me want to scream every day of the week So I told myself I really am gonna spend all of Monday all of Tuesday studying preparing for this exam I don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. I have to keep telling myself This is my senior year I will never have to take an exam for this class ever again after this exam I have one exam left and then I'll never take another exam for the rest of my life and I keep Keep telling myself that but also I'm having a really hard time still not procrastinating studying I haven't it's 12 12 make a wish but I still haven't started studying today I have a class at 1 30 so I'm gonna have to leave for it in like 40 minutes so I think that when I get home I'm just gonna force myself to study which honestly is going to be really hard because when I get home from that class I never want to study like I never want to do anything on Mondays I wonder if my friend will want to get coffee with me because whenever I get coffee with her I'm so much more productive want to get coffee today. I also have a present for my friend Tori because she defended her thesis so I got her some flowers when I was at Trader Joe's and I want to write her like a little note, a congratulation note, but I don't have a paper, like a little thing to write it on. Maybe I'll just like rip out a piece of paper. I was planning on getting like a little card, but I really need to study and I'm just not having the motivation to do it, which is not good. I started making a study guide last week. I wanted to scream the entire time making the study guide. It was so hard and I only did, I still have two more sections. I did, let's see, one, two, three, four, five? Five, I've done five and I still have two more. Wait, did she say no? Ah, she said no. I also wanted to show you guys something that I got in the mail over the weekend that I'm literally obsessed with. Moving my trash can out of the way so you can't see my gross trash, even though there's only like Reese's egg wrappers in it. I got a Pura. When I went to Lauren's apartment, she had this and I was like, your room, your apartment smells incredible. And she was like, it's my Pura. This is essentially a smart wallflower. This is not sponsored. I literally bought this on Amazon and it's a smart wallflower. And honestly, it has improved my mood so much because my room smells so good. I got the volcano scent, which if you guys know the really good like anthropology candle it is a scent for that I just thought this was like the coolest thing ever so should I start it right now is it on right now I can't tell oh I just turned it on I just turned it on so I mean mine pink but you can make a schedule for it you can decide how potent you want it to be but my room smells so good so I have it on a schedule so whenever I'm in my room typically I have it on so I can smell it and then when I'm not here it doesn't go off so I don't like waste the scent I'm literally obsessed with it here I'll show you my schedule this is the schedule so like I'm typically in class here and so I have it on when I work in the morning and then when I come back after my class and then I have it during the day on the weekends when I'm here My room just smells like anthropology. It smells so good And I don't know why but like I've recently been like insecure that like my room smells I don't think it does but one time when I was younger I had a friend and her house smelled like pickles I feel like I've said this story before but like it makes me insecure now that my house smells like something and I don't know Because I live here, you know, I'm so used to the scent So I don't know it makes me really happy and it's pink. I kind of want to turn it off though Wait, what's going on? It's set up to Wi-Fi. So I think my Wi-Fi my Wi-Fi here sucks guys I'm stupid I thought I turned it on but it's on in the schedule so in the morning I have it from 11 30 to 1 o'clock and it's right next to my desk so I can smell it really well every single time I walk in my room it smells so good I'll link it down below but again not sponsored I just it's made my day so something that I've decided that I can definitely do right now is transfer some of the notes that I took and put them into a quizlet I typically like to study flashcards on my phone it's just the way that works really well for me to study so I think that is something that I can do I just don't have any motivation right now I can it. I can do it. That's what I'm telling myself. And so, yeah, there's also a ton of lecture videos that I want to watch, but there's like, I don't know, like 10 and they're all like an hour long. Miss girl, you expect us to like actually watch that? So I want to watch it. I want to just do as good as I possibly can. This is like one of my last exams. I might as well give it everything I can, but also everything I can is not that much because I just do not have any motivation right now, but I'm trying my best. So I'm going to transfer everything to Quizlet. I'm going to do what I can.
happens to any of you guys, but I can literally hear my heartbeat in my ear and it hurts. Like it feels weird. I don't like it. I feel it. I don't like it. Anyone know how to like make this stop? I'm feeling very overwhelmed. And the hard thing is I did this to myself. I just added more stuff onto my plate for this week, which is kind of stressing me out. And then I haven't studied at all for my exam. I just have so much to do. And I feel like once the exam is over, I will feel a lot better about it. But I'm just feeling very overwhelmed and it's making me really anxious and stressed. And I just feel like I don't have enough hours in the week for everything that I need to do. And I think the number one thing that I need to do is just like stop talking right now and start watching these videos for my exam. It's just stressing me out, guys. I just, mm. this happens to me all the time and I just need to move on, just start working, stop like stressing out about how much work I have to do and actually just start doing the work. I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed and I'm like, why did I add more to my plate? But hopefully when Tuesday is over, my exam is done, I will feel a lot more relaxed. Okay, little update. I watched one video for my class, one lecture video, and although that's not a lot, I feel like what I learned, I really learned well, so I'm happy with that. And then I'm about to go on a walk with my friend Desiree. We go on a walk once a week, or at least we try to. We go on like a little hike. I'm just gonna wear the same thing. It's like an athletic dress, and I'm wearing these shoes. This is like a unitard under it, so it's not like me flashing you. But I'm gonna bring my belt bag from Lululemon that Lauren got me for my birthday. I'm obsessed with it. I was wanting something that I could carry carry my keys in. Wait, I kind of want it the other way because the zipper. Do you guys know which way you're supposed to wear it? Like with the buckle? Is that supposed to be on top or on the bottom? Wait, why do I keep putting it this way? I want it this way. Cause like the zipper's up here. So I feel like it makes sense like this. I don't know. I also really want this in white, but they don't sell it anymore, but it'd be so cute with this outfit in white. But I was wanting like a little bag that I could bring on like our little walks to put my keys in. Cause typically I just like carry them and it kind of is annoying, but the funniest thing. So when I was at my mom's house for Easter this weekend, I was going through my my drawers and everything because eventually I'm gonna move out of here. My lease ends July 25th and I'm probably gonna move a little bit earlier than that. And so I was like, you know, while I'm here, I might as well kind of like go through all the stuff that I have, see what I want to get rid of, see what I want to keep. And I found my friend, the one that I'm going on a walk with. I found her sorority pins. This is her initiation pin and her new member pin. <laughs> This is so funny because I remember this so vividly. We were sophomores and we both lived in the sorority house together. We both dropped since then. I remember I was getting initiated onto the executive board and apparently when you're being initiated, you need to wear your pin. And I could not find mine to save my life. I had no idea where it was. I was like searching my room for it. And my friend Desiree was like, oh, you can just like borrow mine. And I was like, okay. And then COVID happened like very soon after that. So I never ended up giving it back to her because I didn't see her for like a year and a half later. I think the next time I saw her was like spring semester of our junior year. So I guess like a full year. But I still have her pin and she's gonna die laughing when I give this to her. I was like, I have something to give you and you're gonna find this hilarious. But if you guys know where I can get either like a white belt bag or like a dupe that's white, please let me know because I love the black one, but I want a white one as well for other outfits. Like I just think they go so well with outfits that I want, why do I want one in every color? I know that Target has one, but I think they might've been sold out. I don't know. It's also a cream color, but I'm like, maybe I should buy it. Cause I feel like this would just go really well with like a white outfit or like a light outfit. Do you know what I mean? I just, I want Lululemon to come out with the white one again, but they just happen. I'm back. Do you guys like my hair? When we were on the walk, we always go up a mountain, which is like a little local mountain that we have. We saw a snake and we were like, we cannot come back here ever again. We literally like screamed, scream. We were screaming and running away and it was scary. And we cannot go back there ever again. Ever, 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 ever. And I mean that. So yeah, we need to find a new walking spot. <laughs> but I gave her the pin and she was like, I don't want this. And I was like, it's yours. And then I was like, oh, I'll just like hold on to it and give it to you like before like I leave. And then I forgot to give it to her. I watched the rest of the video that I had to watch. So now I'm two videos in and I was like, I need to count how many videos I have left. 10. I have 10 videos left, but I did take the practice quiz. There's 12 questions and I did get a 10 out of 12. So like not not too bad but i do think that i should watch the videos and i think the videos make everything make a lot more sense it's just like they're all really long and even at double speed they're still really long so i think i'm gonna try to watch two more and then i'm gonna call it a night i'm still like laying in my bed like my sheets are done but like i don't want to put them on <laughs> so here we are we're gonna watch the next video let's see what this one's on i think it's mergers and acquisitions you guys care i already watched videos about vertical integration and diversification 
And now we're gonna watch. Oh my gosh, there's two videos for this next week. <sighs> I keep telling myself I'll never have to do this again. I will never have to take another exam for this class. Let's go mergers and acquisitions. Let's do this. Hello, happy Tuesday, everybody. I actually just took my exam. It is 2.14 p.m. I spent the morning studying for it and I'm exhausted. I am a little nervous because I didn't get to see my final grade for the exam because she mutes the exam for a while. And I really studied like the first three fourths, but the last one fourth, I fell asleep while watching the videos that made it very clear to me while I was taking the exam that I didn't retain any of the information while I fell asleep I thought I knew it but I didn't and that's okay because I just calculated my grade to see what I would get I don't know if you guys do this but whenever I take an exam and I don't know something I will like star it or like make it known that I don't know it and then I'll count out all the ones that I think I got wrong or that I wasn't 100% on and then calculate my grade and to me that's like my worst possible grade that's the lowest possible grade that I could get and I still have a decent grade in the class if I get that score so I should be fine. I'm like all of a sudden like itchy. Like I feel like crawly. Ugh. I'm just glad to be taking the exam and just having it over with. I did not want to do that anymore. I probably could have studied that last portion more, but I didn't and that's fine. But also low key, this is so <laughs> stressful. I was about to take the exam. I was sitting down. I was getting all the stuff ready. And then I hear like my doorbell ring. My apartment management comes in my apartment and my room just to make sure that like everything's okay. They do like quarterly inspections and today was for my unit. And I knew that was coming, but like it was so stressful that I was just about to take the exam and then like they were coming and I was like oh my god now I need to wait and so it kind of threw me off I'm also just feeling so exhausted so tired oh, like why is my skin feeling so crawly Ugh. I'm not feeling well like I feel like I need to like lotion my entire body but the exam is over I'm very thankful for that I don't know what I got I'll still have a good grade no matter what I get but that's my last exam that I'll ever have to take for this class I still have a paper to write and I don't want to write the paper but like we have to and then we also have a presentation so it's gonna be crunch time because it's due in a week from now and we haven't even started it which is fantastic so it's we're really gonna go for it <laughs> next up I need to pick out my grab photo so my friend Sky is my photographer she's an incredible photographer and she gives you all the unedited photos and then you get to pick your favorites so you know that like what photos you're getting are actually like good and not bad so I'm gonna go through and favorite my 50 favorites and they're so much better than the ones that turned out really badly but that was my fault they turned out badly not hers One photo that I wanted to take was I wanted to recreate a photo I took my senior year for my senior photos. It's a very overexposed photo, but I retook it. You can kind of see. I should have done this one where I was looking at the camera because I like this photo better, but I did that one by accident. But I mean, look at my hair length. That's my natural hair color in case anyone wants to know. A couple of things. Number one, this is my new hyperfixation. <laughs> I have like a sweatshirt or like a hoodie or a crew neck that is my hyper fixation of the month. This is it, you guys. This is it. Obsessed with her. So much so that I've been on Amazon for the past like hour finding dupes of all this like Lululemon stuff because I've never owned Lululemon stuff before in my life. And I want the belt bag so bad. Oh my god, I literally talked about this yesterday. I never remember what I said. Like I could vlog a clip two minutes later, say it again, and I wouldn't remember it. But I'll show you guys my card if you guys want to see let me just make sure none of my information is on this well okay my information might be on this in my cart these leggings have such great reviews number one bestseller i own a ton of these tops i have them in white and black but i don't have any colors so i thought that, that would be two nice colors that i could wear the black leggings this one is supposed to be the dupe for what i'm wearing but i've seen it's not as nice but i like the color and then this is like a pink belt bag and like i said i want the white one we've said it so many times but you guys i've scoured the internet they don't sell white anywhere like white is sold out of everywhere but all of that is 128 dollars and i'm like i don't know if i want to spend 128 dollars so it's just in my cart and it might just sit there for a while until i either delete it from my cart or i'm like yeah i need to buy this but i don't know why guys this is my new hyper fixation another issue is it's getting hot it's getting too hot to wear this so why am i maybe i shouldn't buy the pink but i also really like the pink i don't know and the review so you can't return it like you have to like ship it back to China or something. Anyways, I should be doing stuff, but that is what I was doing. I feel like I have a lot of stuff to do, but I also don't at the same time. Also, tomorrow I'm not vlogging for this video. I have a sponsored video that I'm doing and I agreed to it on Monday and they want the video by Thursday. So I need to shoot it and edit it tomorrow. So it's going to be a whole separate video. Maybe I'll vlog a little bit of me editing it. Tomorrow is a little bit of a busier day and that's okay. I'm also not really feeling well. So I emailed my professor and I was like, can I go on Zoom? And he was like, yeah, cool. And I was like, great. Thank you, King. But yeah, I just 
love this. I don't know why. Bury me in this. I'm like, this isn't cute, but I'm obsessed. My boyfriend's gonna pick me up soon. We're gonna hang out for a little bit. I also need to drop off a gift for my friend that I've been meaning to give her for a really long time and I haven't yet. I just wanna know what I got on that exam because I don't know if I failed it or not. I don't think I did. If I did, I'll still be fine. This is literally just me thinking out loud. Welcome to the vlog. You've already been here, but... Why am I obsessed? Something else that I've been obsessed with recently is watching little SNL clips on YouTube. I don't know why, especially like the weekend update ones. New obsession, like I've literally been watching this for so long. I, I don't know. I literally feel like such an egg, but also like, why do I like it? Do you remember? And I'm not even gonna say that, never mind. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I wanted to show you guys my new favorite perfumes. I don't know why, I've been like really into scents recently, so I thought I'd show you guys. I do in fact still have my laundry, or like my sheets and bedding. I slept with a blanket last night. <laughs> I'll put it on tomorrow. Anyways, this will be cleaned tomorrow. But here are the two perfumes that I really like. So Lauren actually got me this one for my birthday. It's Sweet Like Candy. Why will this not focus? Hello? Enjoy my scissors <laughs> as the background, but Sweet Like candy from ariana grande it is so good i smelled this one time at kohl's i think and i was like wait this smells so good but i actually had the cloud perfume by ariana grande and i like this one more it's definitely like a more younger scent because it's very sweet but i love it and if i'm going for a more mature scent i'm obsessed with this one flower bomb why will this not focus wait i'm not kidding i just tapped the screen with my nose to focus this genius life hack this one if i'm wanting a more mature scent i really like this i think i got this scent i'm not kidding when i was like in junior high school and it still smells good. I kind of thought it would smell like alcohol -y or like expired and it doesn't. It still smells really good and I've been just so into scents recently. I think the Pura really started it. Just something about it. I'm in a weird mood right now. I think I'm just exhausted and like tired. I'm tired and exhausted are the same thing. I'm just, my brain's not working because of the exam. Yeah. Long time no talk, it is 5.30. Last time you guys heard from me or saw me putting my makeup was like 11 o'clock noon. I just ended filming my video, my sponsored video. Now I need to edit it. I'm currently transferring the footage from my SD card to my hard drive and they need to import into Final Cut for me to edit it. I'm exhausted. I've been cleaning all day because it was a, a deep clean video. I will link it down below. I actually really enjoyed filming it and I think that I'm going to enjoy editing it. It's just a time consuming video and it's just a lot of work to be cleaning your apartment. Oh my gosh, but I do feel really good about it. I'm going to be FaceTiming Lauren tonight. We've only ever FaceTimed like three times because we just have schedules that don't really align, but we made plans to, and I was texting her and I was like, I have to edit this video. And she was like, okay, I also have stuff to edit. And I was like, great, glad we're on the same page. I think I cleaned for six straight hours <laughs> without a break. I think I took like a 20 minute lunch break, but that's okay. I also, ooh, important. Spring 2020 WP carry undergraduate graduation. have seen in me today is me in this spot but i got takeout literally it was so embarrassing <laughs> it took me like five tries to park and i still parked over the line and someone was watching me and then i struggled getting out of the parking spot why will this not open but i got pad thai tofu pad thai from thai basil incredible i just got off facetime with lauren we like i said don't normally facetime but it was just so nice seeing her i felt bad because i was like rough cutting my video not like watching it like i was just like cutting out the silence when we were on facetime but she was also doing stuff but i'm like was that rude do you guys ever like overanalyze every interaction you have with everyone with anyone ever i breathe and i'm like did i offend them like do i breathe too loud i just overthink too much i think it's because we don't typically facetime i don't know i just finished editing my video thankfully it's exporting right now that i'm gonna upload it send it to the company and then go to bed Happy 
Thursday, everybody. I just got ready this morning and I filmed a clip for a video that I need to edit today. It is a what I spend in a week. I'll link it down below. I feel like when I was filming the clip that I had to film for this video, I was just like no thoughts in my brain at all. Just like, I don't even know. Didn't feel great. Sometimes whenever I film, I black out. Like, I don't remember anything that I said ever. And this is like the weirdest thing. Right now I'm just transferring over some footage to my laptop. I really need to edit this video today. I need to do a thumbnail. I need to do everything. I've been just pushing it off all week. And then I still have some assignments I need to do because I was busy yesterday filming that video. I don't know if they, if the brand reviewed it or not. Let's check my email. They have not. But today is going to be a good day. It's supposed to be a very busy day. Not supposed to be. It's going to be a very busy day just because of all the stuff that I have going on. Okay, this makes so much sense. I was supposed to FaceTime with Lauren today, not yesterday. I was like, my schedule feels like it's off. Like something feels weird. I put it in my calendar to FaceTime Lauren today, not yesterday, but busy day. Also, I have this huge group assignment for my capstone class. We have to do like a million page long paper and then like a huge presentation. We haven't even started it. I messaged my group and I was like, hey guys, like it's due in a week. Should we start it? Only one person responded. Everyone else ghosted, which is not a great feeling. And I'm getting really anxious. So pretty much all next week, I'm sure I'll be working on it. <sighs> stress. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Next week is my last week of classes ever. The week after that's my finals week, but next week is my last week of class ever. I'm not like processing this. I'm not. Oh my gosh. I just finished the video. I think it turned out really cute. If you guys want to go check it out, I'll have it linked down below. It's already up. What I spend in a week. It low-key was so much more money than I thought. Hundreds of dollars more than I thought upsetting. Oh, it just finished. Okay, now I need to upload it, do the thumbnail, all of that stuff. This stuff takes like a little bit of time. And by a little bit, I mean like a decent amount of time. And then I still have all my school stuff that I need to get done. Busy day. Busy, busy, busy day. I wish that I would have been able to do a lot of this yesterday, but I had like the sponsorship, which I actually really liked the video, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm like looking through all my videos. I'm like, where is it? Found it. The long awaited, oh my God, I'm actually graduating mental breakdown has finally hit. <laughs> I don't even know. I think, well, I'm just, I have a lot of emotions right now and I guess, I guess I kind of just want to talk through them. I feel like talking to you guys, like I know I'm talking to a camera right now, but I also feel like I'm just like talking to my best friend on FaceTime. Like that's what it feels like every time I vlog and it just, I don't know, I kind of feel like I need to talk to someone right now because I'm kind of losing it. <laughs> Am I about to cry? I think that realizing my last week of classes is next week, kind of like, oh my God, I'll never go to school ever again after that. I have my finals week the following week, but it's only one day and it's my Monday and then that's it. <sighs> There's a lot of emotions. I think, oh my god, I know, like, I don't even know. <laughs> so much for talking this through and I can't get words out. I know that things will be all right. I know that this is something that everyone goes through at one point, not necessarily graduating college, not everyone goes to college, but everyone has a moment in their life where they're like, I have to grow up. I think that college has been such a safety net of like tiptoeing into the adult world, but like we're not fully in, you know? It's like having floaties on before you actually have to learn how to like swim. Gosh, I think the primary emotion that I feel is like scared. <laughs> As I laugh saying that, I'm noticing now that everything around me is really temporary. I won't live here much longer. I won't live as close to my friends as I do now, probably ever. Who knows, maybe one day my best friend will like live in a cul-de-sac next to me. I don't know, but the community of college. And I think that there's a lot of things that have scared me, especially because I've been on TikTok and everyone is being like, oh my God, yeah, like when I'm graduated, like it's so much harder to like meet friends and do this and do that. And I'm like, oh my God, is that what it's gonna be like? I just feel scared. I'm noticing that everything around me is temporary and I kind of feel like I'm grieving the life that I'm currently living. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like I'm like looking at things and I'm like, I won't be looking at this for much longer. Like this door, this door right, this is literally a door. Who cares about this door? But I'm like, I will only see that door however many more times in my life. But that sounds so stupid and I know, I know it's stupid. I feel like I've been so numb to the idea of like what's happening and like realizing and now it's finally hitting and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I've had four years to plan for this, but for four years I've been in denial about it. That's like four years of emotions like hitting me all at once. I feel so scared. <laughs> I'm not 
sure everyone felt this way at one point like I know that I'm not alone and like I've talked to you guys who are currently going through it have gone through this in the past honestly everything that we talk about in my comments and my DMs make me feel so much better I hope that you guys genuinely know that like the advice that you've given me the experience that you relate to with me like it just makes me feel so much less alone and it makes me feel like okay I'm not doing something wrong at least like everyone's been here I kind of feel like in my head I'm like I'm the only person experiencing this I'm doing everything wrong everyone has it figured out I'm the only one that doesn't and I know that's not true but like I can't stop my mind from going there I'm literally losing it I think that I'm like spiraling <laughs> why am I laughing I'm not this is not funny I feel like I'm like watching a chapter close and I'm like utterly aware that it's closing I just finished one of my classes today my online class and we had to watch a video about being alums about the alumni network and I was like oh my god I'm gonna be an alumni this is such like a bittersweet feeling because I'm so excited for this to end but I'm so scared for it to end I just feel like I don't know anything <laughs> like I feel like I don't know what I'm supposed to do like I feel I don't know what I feel <laughs> I feel lost. I've been looking at apartments online and everything and like I will tell you guys I don't even know when that video will go up. I haven't filmed it because I've honestly been procrastinating it But my post grad plan video like what I'm doing where I'm living. <coughs> Why can't I even say it? I'll tell you guys everything. Don't worry Like I'll tell you like literally every little thing I've just been procrastinating filming it because I'm scared to like admit it out loud Maybe I don't know if I can like edit this video and I'd be like yikes girl like you I'm cold. I just I don't know what to do. I feel so why am I gonna cry? I'll probably watch the Kardashians on Hulu so I won't cry. Distract myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just can't believe it's actually happening. I kind of felt like it would never happen. Like I would never, not that I would never graduate, but like it just didn't feel realistic that this time would ever actually come. Like I kind of just felt like time would just like always be there and it would always be going. That makes no sense. Literally what am I even saying? Like, I didn't feel like time would pause or like I knew I would graduate at one point, but like I didn't actually think about it happening like it just felt so far away that I was like I'll deal with it when I get there and now I'm here and I'm like oh after I graduate there's like a million possibilities like I could really do anything that I wanted to I could become like a skydiving instructor if I really wanted to I could travel the world if I had the money to it kind of feels intimidating how limitless it is almost it's kind of like looking at like a black hole and just like jumping in I don't know that's kind of how I feel and I know that there's like a path that I want to take but I also am scared that it's not the right path and then I know that I'm like so young and I have time to like make the right path not make the right path but like change my path but I also know that I'm so young and if I wanted to change course and change direction like I have time to do that do I you know that it'll get better that it'll be less scary just a lot of emotions hitting me all at once and I I don't know how to feel about it update I feel a lot better I did not end up watching the Kardashians I'm editing a video I'm about like halfway done with it but I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because I've been here for a while and I'm tired <laughs> oh my gosh I've been doing this for three hours it feels like it's been like 30 minutes but like I'm physically tired whenever my eyes start like roll not like rolling over but do you know that feeling when you've been staring at a screen for way too long and you're like mmm that's how my eyes feel. But I thought of something that's really cool. This has like, not necessarily calmed my anxiety, but distracted my anxiety. Also, tell me I don't look like a glazed donut right now. I have these new things that I've been putting in my videos. And sometimes I'm like, am I doing too much? Like, am I, is it overkill? I think they're really fun to add to my videos. If you guys are interested in what my videos look like, editing them. You can see like, this is like the intro. Let's zoom you in. When I edit my videos, it's a very small screen that I'm looking at. So whenever there's like, I don't know, I just never can see anything. I always feel like I'm like a little like blind. But I added this thing right here. And then in the likes i thought i'd put some of my subscribers names i thought that'd be fun what do you think i hope that you guys notice but also i'm like is that mean to the people that i'm not putting maybe i'll put new people every week maybe i won't i don't know i just had this idea and then i was just like i want to do it i don't know i feel like especially now that like this chapter of my life is closing and i'm getting like kind of like in my feels about it i'm just so grateful for you guys that you guys have let me take you with me on this like Dirty. I'm not gonna get emotional. We're not gonna get emotional. Also, my shoulders look huge because I'm wearing these puffy sleeves under the sweatshirt, but I've just been like so eternally grateful for you guys. And like the best part of my college experience, I always say this, but the best part has been sharing it with you guys without a doubt. No, not gonna get emotional. Also, I love my hair length. For a really long time, I thought that I hated it short. Not that I hated it short, but I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, it doesn't feel right. And I feel like it finally hit like a good length. For a minute, I was like, it's too short. And then I was like, it's too long. And then I was like, it's too medium. But I think it's like good here. Part of me also wants to cut it shorter though. I literally refused to cut my hair for almost a decade and here I am just like wanting to chop it every other month. I seriously think it's so funny though that I think these giant puffy sleeves under the sweatshirt. <laughs> but that's my update for now. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. It's 5 p.m. My boyfriend said he wants to hang out with me at around 8 o'clock because he has like a group meeting. Is anyone else obsessed with Hannah G? I want to be her when I grow up. I guess I am growing up. <laughs> 
I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not claiming that energy. Happy Friday, everyone. I must be honest, I haven't vlogged that much today. It's almost 4 p.m. Today, I worked out and then I dropped off some clothes at Goodwill. And then I've been in my bed all day making like a little like outfit guide for when I go out of town. My boyfriend and I are going to two different countries in less than a month. I haven't said where we're going yet. Like, it's not like that big of a deal. Like it doesn't really matter. But maybe when it gets closer, I'll tell you guys. But I've been just trying to try on a ton of clothes that I own and then see what kind of outfits that I want to do. What outfits would be good for what days. I'm really going all out. I tried to do this for when we would go to Spain. We didn't end up going to Spain because... COVID. So yeah, but I don't really have that much going on today. I'm gonna hang out with my boyfriend and then a couple of his friends later tonight. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing right now. Just a simple black bodysuit from Abercrombie. These jeans are from Abercrombie. I haven't worn these jeans in so long and I forgot how much I love them. I think that I was afraid they wouldn't fit, but they do and I love them. Very simple outfit. I honestly might be a little too warm in this outfit because it's just so hot outside nowadays. Welcome to Arizona in April. The fact that April's almost over, I think it'll be May when this video goes up. It's almost the end of April, but like how is time flown by this fast. That's an update for today. I'm sorry that I haven't really vlogged much. I, I'm not really doing much, so I don't think I probably will vlog too much today, but I think I'm gonna get some lunch or make some lunch because I'm starving. Update. Sorry for the horrible vlogging today. Nothing is going on. I'm watching Bridgerton and I just got ready to go out. I did like the little braids that Hailey Bieber had at Coachella. Just like every other basic person. Whatever Hailey Bieber does, I do too. This bodysuit is from Forever 21. These are the same jeans that I was wearing from Abercrombie. I was gonna wear that same bodysuit that I was wearing earlier today, but I was like, Nah, but I feel really cute. I don't know how I feel about the braids, but I think that I'm just gonna live with it. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think the next one is the last call to week of my life vlog ever. That's crazy to say. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next, in the last. Wait, before I end this video, I wanna do a giveaway. I wanna start including giveaways at the end of all my videos, so thank you so much for watching this entire video. I have a giveaway. So let's see, I don't know what I'm gonna put in this giveaway. I have this box of just like a bunch of stuff that I wanna give away, so I'm just gonna pick things through it. You can win. This is a 20 24 karat gold foil hyaluronic mask. This is a Laura Mercier refining cream polish. It's an exfoliator. The Pop Beauty Permanent Pout Lip Color. This is in the shade OMG Violet. I'm literally just grabbing things from here. This is the Too Faced Killer Liner 30 six hours total control 36 hour waterproof eyeliner you can win a little laura mercier notebook this is a laura mercier tinted moisturizer cream blush well, that's kind of cool this is in the shade coastline it's like a little like taupey color this is a pop beauty fizz jelly cleanser it has like the seal so i haven't used it Ooh, let's do a rare beauty product rare beauty stay vulnerable i don't even know what this is oh rare beauty stay vulnerable melting blush in nearly berry it's like this beautiful little berry color so if you guys want to enter this giveaway. I will have all the information down below on how to enter. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. I hope that you guys win this giveaway.